I have come across a circuit on the internet and we can solve this circuit by using nodal analysis. The only thing we have to do is to write our equations. For my first equation, I assume directions for the currents on the circuit. Since I have a voltage source here, in this orientation, current must be flowing in this direction towards this node. And then it will branch into two different currents, which are flowing like this. And probably this current will branch into two currents. We know the direction of one of these two currents, which is two amperes in this direction. And the other must be flowing in the opposite direction. And at this node, this must be flowing into this node. And then it will branch. But since we assume this current flows in this direction, then it will not branch. Instead, these two currents will be summed at this node and flows towards the 10 ohms resistor. We can also verify from the voltage polarity at this 10 ohms so that the current flows in this direction. And the question actually asks for V. So we will write a nodal equation at this node. Now let's say the voltage at this node is V and it is simply V and this whole branch is actually voltage V. Now according to our assumption, we can say V over 10 volts, 10 ohms, V over 10 ohms, this is the current that flows in this direction. This is the current here will be equal to the sum of these two currents. What is this current? It is simply the voltage at this node minus the voltage at this node. So voltage at this node is 20 volts. Since I assume that this node is zero volt, it's a ground node. It is my reference node in the circuit. Therefore, this will be 20 volts and the current must be 20 volts minus V divided by 5 ohms plus this current that pass through this 5 ohms resistor which will be the voltage at this node, let's say VA because we don't know what the voltage is because there is a non-zero voltage drop, there must be a non-zero voltage drop across 2 amperes current source, then we call it VA and since current flows in this direction, we say that VA is larger than V. VA might be larger than V. Let's say VA minus V divided by 5 ohms. Yes. This is my first equation. And here is my second equation. I will use this node. I know the current towards VA must be 20 volts minus VA divided by the resistance between them, which is 15 ohms. And that must be equal to the sum of these two currents because it branched into these two currents, one of which we know as 2 amperes. So we can write it directly, 2 amperes, plus the current here was this one, VA minus V divided by 5. Ohms. If you try to simplify the equation 1, it actually lets multiply this side by 2, which will be V, will be equal to, I will drop the units for the sake of simplicity, just, just for a second. So that will be multiplied with 2, 40 minus 2V plus 2VA minus 2V. And I will rearrange the terms, since I would like to actually write VA in terms of actually V, and this will give us an equation in terms of V that I can plug into the second one and find V. So this will be 5V minus 40 over 2 is equal to VA. Yes. Now I can plug this 
into second equation here and here, which will give me the second one. Let's simplify the second one before plugging in. 20. Let's multiply these two to equate to their denominators. This should multiply by 15. This should be multiplied by 3. 20 minus VA equals 30 plus 3VA minus 3V. Minus 10 minus 4VA will be equal to minus 3V. Right? Am I right? Minus 10 minus 4VA, yes, equals minus 3V. Therefore, if I plug this instead of that, minus 10 minus 4 times 2 minus 2 multiply with the expression minus 10v plus 80 would be equal to minus 3v plus 7v must be equal to 70 and from that we calculate v as 10 volts sure so this is nodal analysis and you can calculate voltage by using nodal analysis for the circuit like this. You can also watch my next video where I actually solved the same circuit by a weird way by changing the voltage references over the circuit, which I will show that it will obtain the same equations and you can get the same result.